one of the jobs when we first arrive is cutting the grass. It doesn't look here like it here, but it was up to the waist in some areas. We use the trusty lawnmower kindly left by the previous owner, which is fantastic. And when Arthur the Border Terrier sees this, he runs a mile. He safely spectates from a distance. And many hours later... One of the ongoing jobs is the um, walled garden. The wall is covered in ivy, so I do a little bit each day. It's really hard work, um, but I am getting there. This probably won't be finished for a couple of months, um, but great progress has been made. Really happy with that. I've purchased one of these steel hand chainsaws. I highly recommend them. They are amazing. They will cut through anything. We're going into the woods and this is in June 2022, looking very dark and desperate for some work. This is where the pines was cut back early this year, back in January. Um, they was planted to harvest many years ago and um, it was just too dark, damp. A lot of them was diseased. Um, so we harvested the wood and hopefully it'll bring a lot more light into the forest. These are Segoyas, which were completely starved of light at the bottom. So hopefully things will start to flourish a little bit now. And this is the track here up to the main gate. And then down there is the house. I'm just at the side of the house uh, and that goes up into the forest. So today, behind here is like a little folly, which has just been left to overgrow. So I'm going to cut that back. And also this pathway here, which you probably can't see, it leads into the walled garden. So I'm going to cut this all back today. We've just bought some strimmers and um, very small, safe, as can be, chainsaw. Um, the other problem is we don't have a um, mulch trash shredder, so I have to fill my wheelbarrow up and take it back up into the forest where we've got a bit of a dumping ground. But anyway, that's today's job. Clear the folly, which you can't even see, and the walkway down there into the wood garden. So it's done. I started this at half past seven this morning, and it's now half past eight in the evening everything takes so much longer um but i'm really pleased with it i did think there may be some kind of cobbles underneath the earth but there's not because this is a retaining wall um so yeah 12 13 hours later it's done and i'm really pleased with it in the woods we have this pond just to the left um, a stream comes off of it, but it needs some work doing, not really quite sure what, how to clean the pond. So if anyone's got any advice, it's just there, please do let me know how to kind of clean it out and just try to maintain it. That'd be really helpful. And then we just go onto the track that goes around the forest. some lovely wild flowers and whilst walking through the forest we just notice these on the land that borders ours. So I'm on the balcony of the uh, top floor bedroom, the main bedroom. You can see my handiwork there on the wall. I've also cut black a laurel along there which was really thick and dense and took sort of two to three days but it had to come out because it was the wall was starting to bow there's still a lot more to do, but I have started um, and it's really looking great. So I'm really pleased about that. That's the rest of the wall that needs to be done and that will be done over the coming months. The tree surgeon's been in. Um, I've got to just split these logs and move them over to the wood store. Um, and then we can start flattening out the ground a little bit. 
just over there there's a wall which I will expose but beyond that wall is the sheet um, we're going to try and get this area of the garden um, looking a bit more presentable take down some more of the self-seeding trees and as I said just flatten out the area a bit more still got lots and lots of rubbish that's the original oak front door which was beautiful but beyond repair so we have ordered um, a replacement that's where the barn is that we cleared out earlier this week and just in the distance we can see the wood store and below the wood store is the cellar. I'm going to clean that out and put a barn door, just a split door on there because we have got a lot of feral cats and I think it'd be quite a good idea to clean that out for the winter. Just put some raised shelves in there um, so the cats have actually got somewhere a bit more suitable um, and I can feed them from there as well. Here is the well and just next to it is a trough again that all needs to be cut back and that will be done in in the coming weeks scaffolding is still up painting's due to be done in around six weeks thank you for watching